Let's be honest, Pokemon Legends Zito A basically doesn't even have a trailer, it has a teaser, something that tells us that a new game is coming, it happens in Lumios and it has Mega Evolution, but that's about it. We saw no gameplay, no actual in-game footage, and we simply assume that Zygarde will be in the game because there's a Z in the title and it seems to have that scaly Zygarde pattern. But what if I told you that there might be another feature being teased during this, well, teaser? Well hey, I'm not so a strainer, and what about a returning feature? Let's get into it. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, we saw a complete revamp of what we expected from Pokemon. Not only could we do barrel rolls, which was crazy, but we could throw our Pokeballs and other items outside of battle. In fact, speaking of battles, we could move during those. That was insane, and I believe we can expect all of it to be part of Pokemon Legends Z2A. E so, with that very likely being the case, it would mean that Legends E2A wouldn't be the kind of groundbreaking game that Legends Arceus was. And that's fine, I don't expect this game to be groundbreaking because it isn't the first in the Legends series. But everything has its specific features, like YouTube's like and subscribe feature, which you should try on this video, and Legends E2A will be no different. And I really believe that a returning one is the best choice in this game. It's important to remember that Pokemon often shows quote-unquote beta features of future games in prior games. By looking at the past, we can usually see the direction they are moving towards. The wild area in Gen 8 showed an interest in moving to open world, the rides in Gen 6 showed an interest in eventually having alternatives to HMs. And so, a while ago, either 1 month or 3000 years, since it feels like forever since we've got that trailer during Pokemon Day, I talked about how the fact that the game happens only inside of Lumio City would in no way, shape or form be a bad thing. Lumios was already a huge city for 3DS standards, and they can easily make a giant thing there as well. That and there will likely be layers, the catacombs, or in my opinion, the mines of Lumio City, the actual Lumios, and of course, the sky. This makes the map a lot larger than it seems on first glance, and it also goes back to that whole thing about the past showing us the future. This time in a super quick way actually, if I'm correct. That's because we just had a good look at a baby version of this in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet with a terrarium that showed up in the second part of the DLC, the Indigo Disc. It is a contained area with various different biomes that give you the same sense of exploration and variety but on a smaller scale. With the outside area spilling into Lumios, the same can be created as we know the city doesn't have the same development as it would have in the future. That is one aspect of the Indigo Discs that I truly believe will be developed in Pokemon Legends Z2A, but not the only one I think will be added into the mix. But for that, we have to go back to the trailer and do a little analysis. Man, I really miss the trailer analysis in February, those were simpler times, but let's carry on. The trailer begins by telling us that there is a redevelopment happening, and then it starts drawing sketches of a city that we eventually find out is Lumio City. The focus is on Pikachu, the beloved mascot, and we follow it through the city of Lumios, with the focus appearing to then change to AG Slash's point of view and then to Fleshlings. It appears we are following Pokemon throughout the city, seeing what they are seeing. And this, well, this made me think of another feature that we had in the Terrarium. I'm sure you remember, but there was one really cool feature in the Terrarium called the Synchro Machine, developed by Sinclair and that lets you bond with your Pokemon in ways never before seen. You could become one with your partner and just run around as them, almost like what's happening or seems to be happening in the trailer. And if you think about it, it kinda makes a lot of sense. There's a redevelopment happening, which means that there will be construction and places where we just can't access. While this could easily be an obstacle that a Pokemon ride could take care of, there's also the chance we have areas we do not want to destroy, yet we can't also reach, but have to. This happened before in Pokemon Let's Go during our adventures in the Celadon Game Corner, where we sent our Pikachu or Eevee to get the key through the vents. While in the terrarium we mostly had a demo of what this feature could do, with us battling and exploring, we could see this completely change to help us explore the city of Lumios. I know what you're thinking, the Synchro Machine is simply a prototype in the Indigo Disc, which means it didn't exist back in the day in the Kalos region. And that's true, and I'll do you a good one and not even mention any possible time travel that could happen. After all, the terrarium is filled with terra energy and that can kinda transport things to different timelines or to different places and times in the same timeline, right? 
This means that just like Professor Sada and Turo were transported to the Crystal Pool in Kitakami to interact with us and complete the cycle, the Terra experiences from the terrarium could do the same thing with the Synchro Machine and send it to Kalos. This could also even explain the more futuristic approach to the trailer. If someone had access to the future, then that someone knew how the future would be, how it would look like. They'd be a visionary, but kind of a fake visionary, since they were actually seeing it, not really predicting it. But that would mean that there was some kind of terraformation in the Kalos region, and we know nothing of that. Still, that's a cool possibility. Expect a video on Terra Energy, Kalos and Legends E2A to come next. But as I said, let's ignore all of that, because it's not the time to be crazy. Oh, how did that get up there? Sorry, not today. Let's instead focus on the overall topic of the game, not the redevelopment, but the reasoning behind the redevelopment. A vision of beautiful coexistence between humans and Pokemon. Search for harmony, for a bond, a connection. And there's also Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution is described as the result of a strong bond between a trainer and their Pokemon. A bond that, in Pokemon Legends E2A, we might need to develop. A way of developing that bond could be working together with a Pokemon and, in the cases where that was possible, reach a level where Mega Evolution becomes possible. So, we would be syncing our mind with our partners, but not in an artificial way with a machine, although I don't want to completely discard the possibility of there being one. This would be a great way to make the exploration of the map they have for us even more interesting by not only giving us different layers with the mines, the city and likely the skies above Lumio City, but also have us choose smaller Pokemon to fit through specific areas and adventure through them. It could also pose a challenge by making use of the auto battle feature from Scarlet and Violet. If the Pokemon we were controlling fainted, then we wouldn't be able to reach our goal. Overall, I think that the contained map of Lumio City can end up being one of the most interesting ones we ever got simply due to the sheer amount of possibilities that appear to be possible for it. And looking at the trailer, this synchro mechanic we had fun with in the Indigo Disc might not just be perfect for it, well, it might actually be in there. And that is all I have for you today. I believe they might have this synchro mechanic returning and hidden in plain sight. But what about you? Would you like to play as your Pokemon in Pokemon Legends E2A? Let me know in the comments down below. And now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and also ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. Also, you can become a channel member or check out my merch in order to further support the channel, I'd be forever thankful for that. You can follow me on social media or check out one of my streams here and on Twitch, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.